Cheese. Banana. Whiskey frisky. <laughs> Steinberger Pyramids and I'm going to give you a room tour. So this is the front entrance into the bathroom. We obviously have the two toilets, bath and shower, the main bed, obviously has a TV, there's chicken head, they come out into the balcony and you can see the pyramids in the distance. And we have the pool there, we're gonna go swimming in shortly. We're at the Steinberger Pyramid Resort and we're about to go for a swim. There's chicken head. I've been sunbaking, now I've put my rashi on because it's gonna be hot in the pool. Sharon taking a dip. And we're gonna head over there to the pool bar for more drinks. Cheers, from the come up bar and here at Pywalk and at the uh, Dinan Virgo Pyramid Hotel, I think it's what it's called. I have no idea. <laughs> On the bus, about to go to the pyramids. <laughs> climb inside and pretend to be mummies. Here we are at Saqqara. It's uh, the first pyramid ever built, built out of stone, 3,200 years old, built 3,000 years before. Um, Christ was born and 200 years before the Pyramids of Giza. Here we are at Saqqara, which was the first pyramid um, built. Just about to head into the north entrance of the Step Pyramid. This is the original entrance into the pyramid itself. All the way down there. In the original entrance, and then it's through there. Okay, okay. Thank you. Oh, Sharon, have you got yeah. money? This is the size of the stones, averaged two and a half ton. They uh, moved them with great difficulty. That's the view back to Cairo or Giza. Here are pyramids. And it's hard to give you a good 
idea of actually the, the size of it. It's massive. 148 meters high, I think it was. 138. 138, there you go. go inside the pyramid and uh, hopefully we don't get lost or a curse on us. So this is the entrance to the pyramid, or one of the entrances. We're going to walk down that way. It's uh, a lot cooler in here and uh, it's, I wouldn't say relatively steep but there is a noticeable incline and you can see Behind me, the doorway. And it's getting a little bit darker, certainly nice and cool. And as we get further down, there's less and less light. So we're down inside like the base of that, uh, those steps. As it comes through, there's another tomb that leads down there to the right. There's this little room off to the left. Not sure what it is. Resting station maybe. And then we get back to another set of stairs or an incline which leads back up. Uh, I guess closer towards the centre part of uh, the pyramid itself. On the way up to the centre part of the pyramid there's actually what looks like maybe a breathing hole or an air hole or uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is. I'll film up there. Pretty dark. Probably where the ghost of Tutankhamun comes and grabs you. And I'm not sure exactly where it leads. And then we keep going. A bit more leg room here now as we get up and into the centre portion of the pyramid itself. I can actually stand up and walk. So we've just come through here into this large room. There's actually nothing really in here. So we're inside the main chamber. Uh, as I said, there's nothing actually in here. Um, well, apparently all the treasures and everything were stolen a long time ago. There's only just writing on the wall behind me. And then that's it. Now we can head out. So that was the main uh, tomb in the center. As we come back, we come down those stairs. There's actually another area up there. I'm not sure what it is exactly. And now we have to get down lower again to get out of here. Heading back up to the exit. So we've just driven up to, in the bus, up to the area where you get the panoramic view of all the three pyramids and uh, pretty much the money shots when it comes to coming to the pyramids of Giza. And uh, you can see the amount of people here at the moment. <laughs> On the camel. on our way to the Sphinx which is essentially in front of the pyramids so this used to be a harbour back in the day there used to be water flowing through here and that's where they used to transport all the rocks for the pyramids to be built up to the Sphinx and then they used to get transported up um, towards the pyramids to construct them. These rocks here are granite, which come from Aswan. They're 900, Aswan is 900 miles away, and they used to transport them by boat to this location here. This area all used to be under the sand, and it was discovered 150 years ago, and since been all dug out. 
So this is inside the mummification room prior to the kings being taken to the pyramids for their burial and it also used to be used as a resting area for anyone who used to come and worship or pay homage to the kings. These blocks were transferred from Aswan. Each block apparently weighs about 21 tons and Aswan is 900 kilometers away. I uh, correct 900 miles away. Looking from the side of the Sphinx back down towards the area where everyone was uh, mummified and uh, the waiting rooms. We are here at the pyramids just before or just after sunset and we are about to watch a light show. Hopefully you can see it. Because I can't see much on the screen here. And Sharon's trying to get food out of the bag. Food. 